This is in response to Mitch Man's uh, Galaxy Desk Fan. Having a little bit of trouble oiling it, I guess. I'll show them how I do mine. I've had this fan sitting next to my bed since 1983. It runs all night long from 11 o'clock to like 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning. So I do have to oil it once a year or it starts slowing down. I'm going to show them how I take it apart. This is one of the last of the well-made fans. I've cut off the top of the knob because you can't get the knob off. And I don't see a problem with it. I can still use it. There's one screw in the back of the housing. Let's see if I can set this down. This thing's just a little bit of a pain to get on and off because of not being able to get the knob off. This thing's due for another cleaning. Right here you'll see this screw. You see this screw, and there's a hole just in front of it, and you can see the worm gear turning in there. I generally fill that right up with oil until it starts dripping out of the bottom of the gearbox. You can also uh, remove these two screws and repack the gearbox for the oscillator. The little plastic clips have broken that hold the cover, so I've got twist ties on it. Like I said, this fan runs like eight, nine hours a day straight. So it gets dusty after a while. And this is a backwards thread. You have to unscrew it backwards. Mine's got the amber blade. A lot of them also have a blue blade. I clean the blade and then I put furniture polish on it to make it slippery. Keeps it clean for a while. I'll lay the fan on its back and I'll fill this up with oil till it starts dripping out a little bit. And I also try to get some inside with zoom spout with it lying on its front. It appears to have some kind of capacitor, so I wouldn't dare use it on a speed control. But for being well over 25 years old, this thing is great. I think I actually have three of them now. Picked another one up at a garage sale, because I know that the new ones aren't worth a shit compared to these. The metal decal I've got someplace. I think I stuck it in a book so it wouldn't get bent. As you can see, it starts right up on low immediately. Medium. I really rips ass with this thing. 100% die cast aluminum motor. Probably something you'll never see again. Metal grills with fins. And I'm not sure if this one was badged last hour Galaxy, but 
I think they were both made by the same factory overseas. This is type 12-1 style K1-CR. 120 volts, 60 hertz, 0.43 amps. And it's wall mountable. The only thing that's ever been a problem with these is this pivoting mechanism. The piece breaks. This one I've got a screw screwed through it holding it in one place. The other one I believe is just really super tightened up. But that's the only thing that's ever been a problem with these is the pivot that moves it up and down. And I've had to cut the knob off at the top so that I can get the cover off. But it has no effect on the oscillator. And these are great fans. And I'm pretty sure this is probably the last of the high quality manufactured fans. And I even remember when I first started using this, I didn't figure this thing would last 10 years running every day. Now it's going on well over 25, 27 years of everyday use. 1983-ish. Galaxy Oscillating Fan.